Hey everyone. If you're like me, friendship is one of life's most cherished gifts. But in our busy world, it can be tough to cultivate meaningful bonds. Today I'm sharing my top 10 daily habits for nurturing healthy friendship. First, make time to truly listen. Whether over coffee or by text, give friends your undivided attention. Ask follow-up questions and reflect on what they share. Listening is how trust grows. Make an effort to understand different perspectives without judgment. Let them know you're there for them without reservations. Eye contact and engaged body language show you care. Avoid giving advice unless asked. Express gratitude too. We all lead hectic lives, so little thanks for being there messages go a long way. Compliment friends sincerely as positivity strengthens any bond. Thank them specifically for things they've done rather than generic gratitude. Write heartfelt letters or cards for birthdays and holidays. Show appreciation in acts of service too, like bringing a meal when sick. Schedule quality time, even if brief. Grab lunch between meetings or invite a friend along to your workout class. Consistency is key, not big flashy gestures. Make plans well in advance when schedules allow. Opt for low-key activities where you can focus on conversation over distraction. Compromise and trade off suggesting activities everyone enjoys. Be present and phone free during hangouts. Nothing damages intimacy like distraction. Friends should feel cared for through eye contact and focus. Put devices away so you're fully engaged with what's happening in the moment. Make eye contact and smile to show you're interested. Give visual and verbal cues that you're an active listener. Provide support without judgment. During tough times, focus on uplifting others without passing judgment. Security thrives on empathy and encouragement. Instead of jumping to solutions, ask meaningful questions. Remember to celebrate victories, whether big or small, with enthusiastic high fives. Share both triumphs and trials. Vulnerability breeds closeness when you let your guard down with trusted companions. Laugh together through happy and hard times. Show parts of yourself you're insecure about to strengthen intimacy. Be genuine even if uncomfortable at first. Encourage others to open up through leading by example with honesty. Reach out first sometimes. Friendship is a two-way street. Proactive communication shows you value togetherness outside convenience. Check in casually about interests, plans, or thoughts to keep connection alive. Initiate get-togethers without waiting to be invited. Send funny memes or memories that make you think of them. Seek common interests while embracing differences. Strike a balance between familiar activities and exploring each other's unique passions. Show interest by asking follow-up questions, even on topics you're unfamiliar with. Explore new interests together through open-minded discussions. Compromise to create activities that everyone can appreciate. Forgive mistakes and move on. No one's perfect. With acceptance comes resilience against life's bumps in the road. Communicate earnestly if hurt but don't dwell in resentment. Give second chances rather than abandoning ship at first sign of trouble. Let bygones be bygones after genuine apologies on both sides. Most of all, have fun. Laughter and play connect souls in ways serious talks cannot. Make merry memories together that last lifetimes. Silly jokes, dancing like no one's watching and uninhibited play relieve everyday pressures. Celebrate milestones even through casual movie nights on the couch. I hope these daily habits provide a helpful framework for nurturing your most meaningful friendships. Connecting truly with others takes effort, but pays off tremendously in life satisfaction and well-being. Don't be too hard on yourself. Practicing even a few of these each week will strengthen your bonds little by little. As with any worthwhile endeavor, consistency over time yields the sweetest rewards. Thanks so much for watching, and don't forget to subscribe for more tips on relationships, personal growth, and living your best life. I wish you all the very best in cultivating compassionate community around you.